What's up everyone? Thanks for checking out this Fallout 76 video. In this one I'm going to be going over the new Sheep Squatch DLC since it just dropped today. And I have to say there is an amazing new boss fight actually in the game. This is a grindable boss fight that we can do just like the Scorch Beast Queen. So for those of you that were actually wanting that in the game, well, it's here. It's here. You get tons of good loot. You get three star legendaries. You get plenty of extra useful items, caps, great experience, as well as some specific loot just from this event, such as this fedora here. As you can see, it has a wolf on the side of it. it does look pretty nice. I also managed to get this imposter sheep squatch helmet. And there is plenty of other rewards out there. I just haven't exactly done this enough to know exactly what all drops. But I will be going over the rewards sometime in a future video. So in case you are wondering, stay tuned for that. Anywho, now I'm going to go ahead and show you how to exactly tick out this imposter sheep squatch. And also I'm going to be showing you how to exactly grind this event once you have taken them out the first time. Which, by the way, I know this is pretty early of me posting this, but I feel like it's crucial information for players to know about because this is another new in-game experience that we get. But I just wanted to mention that there is going to be some major spoilers ahead. Just letting you know. You have been warned. We actually get to experience this at the end of the new Lying Low questline. Which I'm sure a lot of you probably already guessed. Because, after all, the whole concept is based around the Sheep Squatch. Which, by the way, you can start by finding a Sheep Squatch poster around in the game. You can find those at the train station, or you can go to the Atomic Shop and get it for free and place it at your base and find out about the quest line there. I mean, it's whatever. Anyways, eventually at the end of the quest line, you'll start an event called Encrypted, which will be located right over here at the Pylon Ambush site. You'll have to go up to the terminal inside this cabin here and initiate the recall. That will summon the imposter that we have to take on. And this is actually a pretty tough fight. Once you start this up, there's going to be a certain way that you're going to have to defeat this beast. Which, I love how they added in things that we have to interact with during the boss fight. It makes it feel more like a boss fight. Such as we have to interact with these pylons. That's how we're going to deal damage against this new imposter sheep squatch boss. So yeah, we're going to have to run around this little section activating each pylon. As you can see here, this is what it will say. Become conduit. And we're going to have to activate three different ones that are surrounding this area. And once you do that, it'll make the imposter temporarily vulnerable. Now, he's only vulnerable for a little bit of time. And then the rest of the time, he is invisible. So you're going to have to really focus up on this fight. Be sure to be paying attention when he's vulnerable and when he's not. Because you could just be wasting ammo against him. Be sure to be activating these conduits. And also, there should be at least someone on the team making sure they're just worrying about the ads that are coming in. All these robots that are coming in causing a huge distraction. There should be at least one person on your team focusing on ad control and one person focusing on activating all these pylons. That's really all the objective is. And eventually, you'll take out this imposter and you'll be rewarded pretty nicely. And keep in mind, you can still damage it without activating all these pylons. But I feel as a whole, you're going to be dealing out more damage because more people are going to be able to see where the imposter is at. So more people will be able to actually focus fire on it. Now, in order to actually grind this event, like I mentioned before, you're going to have to progress through the quest line and actually do this event. And in order to do it again, you know, of course, you're not going to be going through the quest line again. You're going to have to actually create these key cards that summoned this assault tron by initiating recall on that terminal in that cabin over there at the pylon ambush site. And in order to create these key cards, as you can see here, it's not that cheap to make. It costs three copper, one recall key card circuit board which a lot of you may be confused on how to get, and I'll be showing how to get that in this video. You're also going to be needing one rubber and one stabled fluorescent flux, as well as two steel. Now, the stabled fluorescent flux is easily gotten at a nuked white spring, so just be sure to hit that area if you're looking for that nuked flora. And in case you don't know how to make stabled flux, I go over a complete guide on how to get all of the nuked flora. I have a link down below in the description to that video in case you are confused on that. But really, the most difficult ingredient that we'll need in order to make these Assault Tron recall keycards is the circuit board. You can actually purchase these from pretty much any vendor, at least I think so. 
I mean, I just checked Lewisburg train station and I saw that it was there. It's also at White Springs too, where the weapons vendor is at. But yeah, you just want to go to the miscellaneous selection. As you can see here, you can purchase it, but it costs 2,200 caps. Now, of course, you can get this down quite a bit if you have the hard bargain perk card upgraded, as well as maybe using some Barry Mint hats or something that will increase your charisma. I don't know, there's plenty of ways that you can actually lower the price on this, but still, it costs quite a bit if you don't really have much to lower it. Sheesh. But yeah, I do have a nuking episode planned in the future in case you're wondering what happens when we nuke here. I actually nuked it three different times just for some testing purposes and I am excited to share it with y'all. This is actually an interesting experiment. But yeah, I'm out of here everybody. Thanks for taking the time to watch and listen. And if you found this enjoyable, consider leaving a like. That's always greatly appreciated. But as always, that's totally up to you. Anyways, until next time, peace.